Ed Ross, Mother's Worry, coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, today I actually don't have a box for this kit, but this is Ed Roth's Mother's Worry. The reason why I don't have a box for this is two reasons. First off, this is out of my own collection. The reason why it's in my own collection is because this was one of the models we had back in the 2013 High River Flood. It was in a box before that, but the flood kind of destroyed it. However, the plastic inside the bag was still good. So I kept it for myself, considering that can't really sell too much without a box. However, we can still look at this amazing kit. So let's go down and open up the bag on Monster Hobbies. What's in the bag? And here we have Ed Roth's Mother's Worry in a bag, because this is a High River, High River Flood 2013 Survivor kit that I managed to put into my own personal collection because, well, the original box got lost and this model here actually went underwater in some flood mud as you can see by these axles. These were fresh metal at one point. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I will move this over here. And we can have a look at what's in the kit. Other than a bit of High River flood mud and other gross things. Alright, so we will start off with the Mother's Worry himself. There he is, with all his monstrous, whatever you want to call it. He's wearing some jeans, and his shirt tied in the center, sort of like a Daisy Duke used to wear hers. <laughs> so yeah, a two-piece model. Goes together fairly easy. It's got a mouthpiece in this little bag here that I used for the smaller parts. See if I can get this open. So this is his hair, and it just glues on the top of his head. These kits originally came out in 1964, so if you want him to have like a hairdo, you can glue it on or leave him bald. It's up to you. There's that inside of his mouth. Which would go back here, just like that. And there's like a tongue or something that's supposed to go there. It's already starting to look like something. <laughs> and then I've got his feet, which are solid pieces. Very, very good casting for a solid piece, actually. Usually they would have something hollow in here or whatever, but not with the mother's worry. There's also this baseball cap, which, again, you could put on. And I'm beginning to wonder if that hair is actually his, or if it's from one of the other monster models in the Roth series. I just threw it in there for some reason. Oh, no, maybe not. Because the cap... Let's just see here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At any rate, the High River Flood took away the instruction sheet, which is not good for me. There's his arm. It's molded in two pieces, just sitting together. It can pop into his body, and this little peg here allows for it to swing like an action figure, which is pretty cool. Helps with alignment. This is, of course, the Model T bucket that he is driving. It's got the 32 Ford chopped down grill in there and a very cartoonish looking steering wheel with a few sinkholes. Need to be filled with some putty. The, oh yeah, there's the tongue that goes in the mouth there. It's Gene Simmons would approve. <laughs> oh, it's the other way. 
this part goes out of the mouth and then it gets wider in the back whereas Gene Simmons has got his tongue like this but okay there's the hands you can see there's quite a lot of flash on this model so that will have to be cleaned up and then here we have that's the shifter knob the dice there's a second part to this which in fact is right here and then you would just glue these together to make the square or the cube I should say there's a fly and the exhaust manifolds intake manifolds for your engine or maybe they are exhaust because there's the carburetor there that's the engine you get just one half of a big block of big block motor this is the pan that goes underneath that's it even says floorboard on there so that would go in here on the bottom somewhere just like that down there and then he stands on that so part of the fun with the Ed Roth kits I think that's part of the rear axle uh, uh, as I was saying part of the fun of the Ed Roth kits is that the monsters in the cars are interchangeable it depends where their hands are so you could take him, Mother's Worry out and replace him with Mr. Gasser and here's the wheels there's another wheel over there but look at the detail look at the uh, the sidewalls of those tires it's a very fun kit then there's these things I'm not sure what they are I'll have to look it up I think it might be fuel tank or something uh, unfortunately that's what happens when the instructions disappear this would be the firewall for the the t-body which you glue up here I at least know that part of it so my, I know my Model T's. <laughs> Remember my reviews of the Model T's? If not, please check them out on my channel. This long piece of plastic is the gear shift lever. So he's shifting way up in the air. So his arm... Okay, there's half of it. His arm would be like way up here shifting. So anyway... And that concludes our Mother's Worry model kit by Ravel Monogram and Ed Roth. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Bag, <laughs> where we looked at the Ed Roth's Mother's Worry model kit. Ed Roth always made some really cool stuff, didn't he? And, uh, speaking of cool stuff, if you want to see what other monsters we have available for sale, please visit us on our website down here, www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you'd like to donate a little something for us, uh, please check out our homepage for this website and look for the PayPal button. Uh, if you would like to see some of the other reviews, please click here and here. And if you would like to see our Monster Hobbies Build a Monster contest, please click here and don't forget to subscribe to us down here and until next time have a good one